G'day guys, Troy here from Corsair Helicopter Flight Training again. Today we're going to take a look at conventional tail rotors and fenestrin tail rotors and have a bit of a discussion about the differences between the two. Today uh, we're looking at the twin squirrel and comparing that to our EC-130. Now, why do helicopters have tail rotors? As our main rotor transmission and main rotor blades turn, it produces torque our fuselage will turn in the opposite direction to try and counteract that torque produced by that main rotor system. So we fit a tail rotor assembly which pushes on our tail boom producing thrust, uh, allowing our pilot in the cockpit to have some directional control over the aircraft. So here we've got a conventional style tail rotor. It's a two bladed tail rotor system on our twin squirrel. Now both of these blades uh, will rotate producing thrust to help counteract the torque reaction produced by our main rotor. Now these are driven off the uh, rear of our main rotor transmission through a series of drive shafts. These drive shafts are on the twin squirrel here come right down the top of our tail boom to our tail rotor gearbox. Now in our tail rotor gearbox, uh, this drive is transferred 90 degrees to our tail rotor hub, which turns our tail rotor blades. So as the pilot in the cockpit manipulates the tail rotor pedals, the pitch on our tail rotor blades uh, will change accordingly, producing more or less thrust. Now with a conventional style tail rotor, it's able to feather and flap. Now both these tail rotor blades are exposed, okay, and this is one of the biggest risks on any helicopter is the tail rotor being at head height. So the biggest difference between a conventional tail rotor assembly and a fenestrin tail rotor assembly is our fenestrin tail rotor is actually enclosed in our vertical stabiliser here. Now this gives us uh, both operational and safety benefits. As pilots operating in confined areas, uh, the biggest risk to us is our tail rotor striking an object. With a enclosed fenestrin tail rotor, it gives us a little bit more of a safety buffer operating in tight spots. Now, from a safety perspective, being a charter aircraft, having the tail rotor in the tail boom as well gives us a little bit more protection uh, with passengers maneuvering around the helicopter. So here on the bench, guys, we've got our fenestrin tail rotor assembly. Now, the first thing you would notice with this compared to the previous tail rotor assembly is the number of blades. So the tail rotor on the twin squirrel just had two tail rotor blades. This fenestrin assembly actually has 10 individual tail rotor blades. Now you'll also notice that they're unevenly spaced. Okay, this is for improved noise reduction for this fenestrin tail rotor assembly. The other thing to notice is these blades can only feather. If I push down on the pitch change spider, you'll notice they'll feather only and don't have the ability to flap. Now this uh, assembly will rotate at nearly twice the RPM of our twin squirrel. This will operate around three and a half thousand RPM. So on a conventional tail rotor assembly, uh, the blades will produce tip vortices. Now we can escape most of those tip vortices on our conventional tail rotor by operating uh, the tail rotor within that shroud that we were looking at before in the tail boom. So that wraps up today's segment on fenestrin and conventional tail rotors. Now we spoke about the uh, differences between the two systems and how they can benefit uh, the aircraft's efficiency. Now if you're liking the videos, uh, don't forget to like and share. And if you want to see any more content from the team here at Corsair Helicopter Flight Training, leave a comment in the section below. See you next week.